Alright then everybody, welcome to another episode of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I really do appreciate y'all for joining me and for those of you who have watched my videos, liked and commented, it truly does mean a lot to me. Thank you all so much. Now then, in the last episode where we left it, we had just finished rebuilding Cal's lightsaber and we have finally left Ilum. It is now time to make our way back to Dathomir to be able to find the relic that was left there by Eno Cordova. Will Cal be able to succeed? Well, let's find out, shall we? Alright then, let's leave and hey, make our wasn't way Wasn't there a gigantic crash ship Dathomir. on Zepho? Think there's any good loot in that thing? Listen, there might be good loot in there, but we have an important mission that we have to achieve. Death of you, huh? It's time I faced him. Yes. You're ready to face your past. What about you Let's and Trilla? This. I don't know if I'll ever be ready. You know what you need to do to start healing, and I'm so proud of you for that. I have my own path. I'm here for you if you need me. <laughs> Cal, you have no idea how big of a step that is. Some people never make it there. And I've said this in the... I've said this many times in Time this playthrough. Get up here. But Cameron Mulholland and Deborah Wilson absolutely fantastic in this particular series. Alright. Back to the dark planet of death. Now, in case you forgot, of course, Dathomir is the home to the witches. Those that were able to use force magic and force alchemy. Any bets on what horrible thing will happen this time? More dead things? Giant spiders? Killer plants? A little bit of everything. All of All the, above. the above. Don't say that. Or maybe the Haxian brood will come and find us. Are you both still mad at me? The Grease guy? Mad isn't the word I'd use. Hey, you gotta admit, though, I paid you back in thrills. How many slubs get on the Haxian Brood's most wanted list, huh? If you weren't such a good pilot, I'd hand you over myself. Better keep your skills <laughs> up, Grease. <Grisey. laughs> ah, oh, jeez. See, Grease, you just you just gotta make sure, you know, don't 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 gamble so much. It might end up bad. Though. All right, now then, time to retrieve the Astrium. It is so sad. It's actually really sad what happened to this planet. Honestly, the Witch of Dathomir didn't really deserve to be completely wiped out, and it was simply due to the fact that Dooku essentially started it. Actually, not even Dooku. It was it was tough. And should the culture of the Witches of Dathomir have survived, more than likely, they would have stood against the Empire. Alright, do you do. There's one more. Uh, you. Nasty little spider. Was that overkill? Eh, maybe a little bit. Bye. Just the wrath of Dathomir risen from the very depths of the planet. 
Well, the Witches of Dathomir had a very unique connection to the very planet itself. And this was also the planet, if, um, if you don't remember, but this was also the planet where the Jedi originated from. The... Well, the Jedi Order, which was the progenitor of the Jedi Order. Now, one interesting thing to know when it comes to Dathomir that with the Jedi Order is the Jedi Order were created by the remnants of an ancient race known as the Qua. The Qua, or the Qua Holding, which is what they were known as, were a race that originated on Dathomir. And they searched throughout the galaxy for those that were force sensitive as well as to be able to educate them so that they together could understand the mysteries of the galaxies and the universe as existence is all. Now sadly, the Qua would eventually fall to the Infinite Empire who were Rakatans, and they were actually originally taught the ways of the Force by the Qua, but they started to gear more towards the dark side of the force fusing it for power and to gain the to fuel their own greed which led to the qua holding eventually falling which eventually led to the rise of the jedi order which precedes the jedi order hey, it's our mark uh -huh. yes, oh he's bleeding Oh jeez. You giant. Are you uh are you in a suit or are you a droid? Well I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you're dead. Mad Midge. Okay. Well we'll move on, on from here. Now then, it is time to face my past in the dark side. A quick meditation, and now we shall enter this temple. Face our guilt, Master. Past. You were wrong to return here unarmed. Not unarmed. You think that lightsaber proves you were Jedi? No. No. Facing you. Memories that have haunted me since Braca. I won't run from them anymore. Then let us see what manner of death your courage brings. <laughs> Facing your fear. Impressive. What is power the answer? No. I'll understand. I will never forget. The loss has become a part of me. I will honor your teaching and your sacrifice. Remember, persistence reveals the path. The thing to learn here is that when it comes to the Force, the dark side can be a temptation, but so can the other. So can the side of light. When it comes to the Force, both sides can be twisted to a point where they will corrupt you, and it's something to understand when it comes to the true balance of the Force. It's understanding that you will have temptation. And accepting that and only through that acceptance 
will you be able to overcome? Anyways, moving forward. Um, let's see, I can go there. There's also this. I want to check this out real quickly. That didn't work out. This will, though. There we go. What is here? Yes. We shouldn't be here. This place is cursed. Don't be scared. Remember, we have a deal. You promised to teach me your magics. See, the thing is, this was not built by the Witches of Dathomir. This was built by the Zepho, who were an ancient race that were force sensitive that spread all across the galaxy oh, and the multitude of universes. This man has promised to grant us our vengeance, but only if I teach him our magic. Much like Forgive the Qua. Me. I must ally with Malikos. No, Marin, you do not need to. And it's sad because the only reason that, you know, she felt like she had to was because. She, she didn't necessarily have anybody else. It was just her. And the Knight Brothers that survived. But there were no other Knight Sisters that survived. They all died in the battle. The only one that probably was still around... No, they all died. Even Ventress died. You chose to return. Brave. But not wise. Marin. Maybe. Marin, right? I'm Cal Kestis. What you were told about the Jedi was not true. So you say, Cal. Malikos said many things too. Terra Malikos might have been part of my order, but what he is now, I... I have no idea. All I do know is having a lightsaber isn't what makes you a Jedi. Then what does? We were peacekeepers. Action. We were betrayed by those we protected. Hunted down by the Empire. I... I might be one of the last of my kind. You understand what that's like, Marin? I was only a child when they attacked. An armored warrior brandishing this descended upon us and cut down my people my sisters until I was left alone with the dead General Grievous General Kenobi and promised me revenge if I shared our secrets with him in return I know what it's like to lose everything Malikos was wrong to use that against you. We don't have to be enemies. We will need this. There she goes again. I'll be watching. Let's get out of here. Malikos lies right. ahead. You could turn back. I can't. No. Lives are at stake. Whose lives? Innocence. Four sensitive children who will be hunted down and murdered. As we were. My friend, I have never been one to shy away from the pursuit of knowledge. They are ashes. This is what happened to a society that got completely enthralled by the dark side 
and allowed their greed to destroy themselves for this pursuit of power. And it is a sad, tired, old tale that happens time and time again. Something terrible happened here. Uh, a massacre. They killed their own kind for promises of power. See, the one thing that I truly like about Cal as a Jedi is that he is understanding the Force better than many members of even the Jedi Council themselves. Because a lot of them never truly faced the dark side. They were ingrained in the bias of the Jedi Council of the modern age. Believing that the dark side was nothing more than a detrimental force. But there are very few members, such as Yoda, that actually had to face that darkness. To understand what it took to overcome it. And understanding that it is always a part of it. Let's go, Malakos. How Kestis? Malakos, welcome home. You to begin your training. What in these ruins tempts you so much to risk death? I could ask you the same thing. There is power there. Beyond Jedi understanding. Power I control. I would offer you the same thing. Don't you understand? I'm not interested in power. I want to restore the Order. Restore the Jedi Order? Oh, you poor fool. It's over! Jedi fell long before the Purge. It was stifled by tradition. Deafened by our past glories. Blinded by endless war. Maybe. But it's never over, Malakos. We stand here now, with the chance to learn, to rebuild from our mistakes. Jedi learn. There's no future for them. Why can you not see that? It's time for something new. You There's a and lot of me. truth. We could build something different. Something better. No. Dathomir will be your grave. See, there's a lot of truth in what uh, Malako says. The sad truth is Malako allowed this truth to turn him into a desperate person. Try that again. Seeking power to control that which he could not control. Oh, a quick one. Even though Malakos was right and learned truth, he was consumed by that truth, not enlightened by it. Because the Jedi Order was indeed stifled by tradition, by their own biases, blinded by it. Come, kill me if you dare! Oh, you're a quick one! Uh, I was wrong to think you could stand with me! You were wrong, Malakos. Not about that. Die world! You have no right to stop the mirror. No right to our magic. Thank you. Get up, Calcestis! You're not dead yet. See 
Parwan! I have focused on you. Now you die, Malifo! No, 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 You will not beat me! The only cowards run! I have friends, you don't. What is this? It's like you said, Malikos. Dothamir will be your grave. No! No! Let him lie in the Goodbye. dark with his secrets until death takes him. Why'd you help me? To rid Dothamir of that parasite. Because she realized that you were also right and not an enemy. See, the thing is, the witches of Dathomir, though they delved in the dark side and they used force magic and they were part of the darkness of the planet of Dathomir itself. The Jedi Order never really sought to eliminate them. Why? Because they weren't a danger. The Witches of Dathomir never wished to destroy the order of the universe. They simply wished to exist. And it was sad. It was sad because of all of the events that Palpatine pushed into play that eventually led to the massacre of all the Night Witches. Of all the Night Sisters, and would lead the Night Mother, Alzin, to take such desperate measures as to attempt to even murder the great priestess of the Dagoyan Order. What are you really doing here, Cal Kestis? The ones who built this tomb, the Zepho, they created an object called the Astrium. It opens a vault on a distant planet. Inside is a list of four sensitive children across the galaxy. But the Empire is looking for it too. What Empire? The Empire. The one bent on exterminating four sensitives so no one can stand against it? Then it will come for Dothamir before long, as the war did. I will help you find this Astrium. But she did not know of uh, the Empire and the rise and the fall of the Jedi Order. Because she was, one, a young child when Grievous came and destroyed everything. And she's been on this planet ever since. And Dathomir isn't necessarily a planet... It's horrifying. ...that is um, technologically developed. They are advanced in their ways, it's just they don't have a lot of technology. Most of their ways involve manipulating the force and the life force of the very planet itself. Those are harrowing uh, depictions. Are you a Zepho mummy? It is. And 
I will take this. Thank you. We finally found it. Mm. We have the Astrium. It is real. Baron, this could be the key to the next generation of Jedi. I'm happy for you. And your Jedi. But nothing can bring back my people. Yeah. That's After the purge, truth. I was alone for a, a long time. In hiding. I was I was scared that they'd find out who I was or what I was. What changed? A very good friend of mine told me to go out and find my place in the galaxy. <laughs> and you listen? Well, no. But life has this funny way of forcing you on the path forward anyway. Now here I am. Or at least expected. Path forward. Path forward. I will join you. You will? I've spent years waiting for a chance to avenge my sisters. I'm finished waiting. I wish to fight by your side. Night sisters and Jedi do not travel together, but Survivors. We adapt. Survivors. Yeah. And yeah, that's because the do. Night Sisters. What do you think, BD? Sorry. I agree. Yeah. I love it. My crew, they might take a little bit of convincing, though. Then we'll convince them. <laughs> I love Marin. I do. Now, that is true though. Night Sisters and Jedi are actually enemies because the Night Sisters were founded by a dark Jedi, one who was exiled during the time of the beginning of the Jedi Order and during the time of the Jedi Civil War, which was a which was a period within Jedi history when they started to have a divergent way of thinking of the Force, believing one side, one side believing that it was only the light side, the one side of the Force that was the true way. Another believing that exploring the darkness had its merits and could ultimately lead them to a greater understanding of the universe and all that was before them. Sadly, this led to a civil war and ultimately led to the Dark Jedi, those that had the mentality of being able to explore all sides of the Force, to be spread throughout the outer rims of the galaxy and the far reaches. One of them ended up on Dathomir and founded the Order of Night Sisters. There's no way forward. Testing me. And you passed. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, let's go. Are you you. going to help me with this? I don't know how you I'm got sure into the temple. Yeah. All right, Marin. I hopefully passed your test. Let's get back to the ship, shall we? This woman you travel with, who is she? See her? Wait, how do you know about her? I have seen your companions. Marikos wanted me to attack them, but they pose no threat. See her, uh... Well, she used to be a Jedi. It's a long story. I... I'll meet you at okay. your ship. Let's make it back. Ooh. Treasure. I missed this. Check it out. Oh, you found something. 
smuggler paint shop. Ooh, interesting. Now, is there anything here? Did I miss any other treasures? No. Okay. Let's get a move on. Now, are there still zombies now that Marin is on my side? I'm gonna say yes, because I don't know if she knows how to dispel what she did. Yep. Well, of course, this is just her still testing me. Notice this. <laughs> Night Sister survived. Oh, no. Something about her is familiar. No, oh, I probably should have gotten that a while back. Marin crying. No, that's something we don't want to hear. Now we can make it back to the ship. And let's see what everybody has to say about Marin. You found it. Oh, well, who's this? What's that supposed to mean? It means I'll be joining you. Seer, Grease, <laughs> this is Marin. She's a witch, isn't she? A night sister. Your fear is unnecessary. I couldn't have gotten the Astrium without her. We fought Malakos together. I trust her. And we trust you. You will have to earn it. Okay, fine. Grab some seat. Don't <laughs> even try anything funny. Welcome aboard. Oh, Grease. They like you. Hey, they said yes. <laughs> I don't know if she has any social skills, really, because all she has had were um, I don't know what you're the Knight saying. Brothers. <laughs> I like her, though. Alrighty then, everybody. This is where we're going to be leaving this particular episode. We found the Astrium, and now it's time to move forward. Where we'll go next? Well... You're just going to have to join us for the next episode. Thank you all so much, and now it's time to roll credits. Well, that's another video down. Thank you all so much for joining me. I really do appreciate y'all. And of course, if anybody does want to continue to support me and help me in making better quality videos, as well as making my dream of becoming a content creator come true, please do check out the links over here that will show you how you can support me. There's Twitch, there's Patreon, there's these other links on my link tree and of course i appreciate every single one of y'all alrighty then have a great one I love train and on through choo choo i love every single freaking one of y'all